And I just want to say a big thank you to the Auberge Kujuak Inn for sponsoring our stay here in the middle of nowhere tonight. It was great uh, to have a nice comfortable hotel room after flying through such desolate and uninhabitable land. Thank you guys so much. Here's our ride to the airport. Now we're waiting for somebody to open the door for us because we need to get out of the helicopter but there's nobody here to open the door. Oh, our savior. <laughs> We're gonna give you another. We're gonna give you another two. It's not like cold, it's just the wind makes it, the wind makes it so much worse. It's 8 degrees. So we had to get a shovel because the barrels are frozen to the ground. It's completely frozen solid. Don't they have hot water? Like a... How's it going, Dad? What are you doing? put this here. Why? Why stupid? Where should they have put it? Because the the, 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 the bottom ha has to be up, not to down. Look at that. You think it'd be better if they had put them upright? No. No. Do you want to store them like this? The water. Yeah. If they eat. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. If they eat, we we'll put the water inside. <laughs> nice. Uh, hey, you guys. Come on, come on you guys. <laughs> All right, this one's up right now. Let's start fueling up. There's our fuel. We gotta put the pump in. Now we take the can, put it in our heli. Oh. <laughs> along with the EC120. He's gonna show us some polar bears. He said, he promised us, that if we don't find polar bears today, he will cut off both his legs. I got, I think, no, no, this is not mine. This is, this is not mine. I think this is my dad's. Papa, Papa, this is your. Yeah, yeah, but here? No. I don't. Oh, you're gonna put the big suits. He's just got his suit, he's gonna put it on. All right, how comfortable is the suit? It's really comfortable. It is? Yeah, I, uh, I quite enjoy the suit actually. It looks good on you. I wear this like <laughs> going for a walk. Right. Yeah. Mm. In case you fall in the lake. 
Feels like a moon suit. Mm -hmm. For me, at least, it's really tight around the neck. So my head feels like it's bulging. Because I don't think there's proper circulation. But, I mean, for the rest of the suit, it's really comfortable. There's my beacon right there, my personal beacon in case an emergency happens. And I also have my passport in there. We're just ready. We're ready to cross a big section of water today, heading more to northern Canada. We're not going to Greenland yet, but we have to cross a really big section of water. So we have to use these, put these suits on uh, in case we have to go down because the water is so cold here. We need these for sure. Denny doesn't know what to say. We've got another uh, Iridium Go, so that's another sat phone. Then we've got our life jackets here. For sure, for sure. A lot. Yeah? So we have a better chance of getting a hold of somebody on that. Um, yeah, we're here now. We're gonna hang out. We're just reevaluating what the plan is. We looked at the maps. There is a low level route to get back out to the coast right now. Um, through this canyon here down below it kind of drops down and then out so that would be a, an option to get back out but right now with the temperatures the way they are and the, the moisture and stuff the way that it is uh, we can't really do that so we got to wait it out for a little while um, let this weather lift a little bit and then if we can get no precip and get it lifting a bit then we can uh, keep on going um, here so. we're a helicopter that's uh, going to be flying in there hopefully in the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour and uh, I'm just trying to see if we can get a weather report. We actually had to land in... Can you, can you hear me? About a thousand feet vertical and about a mile of visibility. Is it, is it blowing snow right now? It showed, it showed on the GPS. Show here. Mm -hmm. Pretty much straight back out. It's going to take us right down here like this. It's quite a way, right? Then, How much is it? Yeah, it's like uh, 20 miles, basically. Talking about places nobody's ever set foot. Probably. I think it's yeah. this one. So like we have somebody set foot right here. <laughs> <laughs> Visibility 10, overcast at height of 3000, light snow. Snow we like, right? Mm -hmm. It's snowing. Look, look at all the snow coming in. Snowing snow, all right? Yeah. I think we look like a mixture between an astronaut and a race car driver for sure. Yeah. I think I'll film here. Okay guys, we had to land just to prevent icing and now we go again. Here we go. Getting out of this mountain. This is incredible, Yoko. I hope you're filming, man. This is amazing in here. This is amazing, man. Wow. This detour is well worth the extra time. Wow, this is so stunning. Not focusing. Not focusing. Tap. Oh, no, no, no. This was my blowing experience. When I get home, I got to see this film. Yeah. Because it was so intense <laughs> and so Unexpected. <laughs> that that was unexpected. Man. It was worth the the wait. Oh, that was uh, so good, so good. Uh, how close are we now to the ocean? Um, uh, within like five miles. Five miles. 